composite made in a factory. There aren't hundreds just like it. This bag was made by people in the villages of Malawi, Africa. Made by people like Dorothy, Blessings, and Mercy. These are Africa bags. Africa bags are made in villages like Kamweko, where toys are made of sticks and pine cones, where drumming and dancing is in their soul. Every meal is cooked over an open fire and eaten on a mat with their hands. Where women walk uphill carrying water on their heads three times a day, sometimes more. Where malaria is the number one killer of children. On this morning, Blessing's child was sick with malaria. He carried him four miles to the hospital. We picked Malawi because it's one of the 10 poorest countries in the world. Each Africa bag has a story, and each one has the ability to make someone's life better. In 2007, small town America met rural Malawi, Africa. We decided we wanted to create something in the rural, rural vi villages of Africa that we could produce there, send back to the United States, and then sell in the U.S. and return all the profits back to the villages. We don't want money. What we are asking for is the kind of training that could make people be sustainable. It has empowered more to the women because in the first place they were relying upon their husbands. Uh, so if the husband does not do anything, does not earn anything, that means they will not have food, they will not have anything. When they buy a bag, it means they're empowering them, they're giving them school fees, they're giving them medication, they're giving them, I mean, something they can, they can use for their basic life. Each bag is unique. The cloth is purchased at the markets in the city. Each pattern hand-picked and brought back to the villages. From here, the entire process is a team effort. Together they measure out and mark the dimensions of the bag. Then they cut the fabric and sew it together on a foot-powered treadle. When all is done, every bag is proudly marked with the name of the village in which it was made. Americans or other people should buy these bags so that we have an income in our, um, in our project because the main income is through selling of the bags. Before Africa bags, their work was much different. The, uh, the ladies would go into the bush, um, collect firewood, get the big bundles of sticks on their head, and then they would um, carry it you know, about three or four miles into town to sell it. They would sell it for 100 kwacha, which is a little bit more than 50 cents. This time, they share each having 3,000 kwacha, which is a great improvement. Yeah. The first day we came into the village and talked to them and told them about the project, the ladies were excited. They said their firewood carrying days would be over, and they no longer have to do that. Before Africa bags, their typical meal was just in sema and maybe a few collard greens. That was mainly what they ate. They said they ate meat maybe once a year, if they were lucky. And now meat's a part of their regular diet. <laughs> now, Kamweko Village is building a chicken coop, and in the village of Eweme, fresh milk is a luxury. They have never lived so well. Not only is Africa Bags improving their nutrition, it's also creating new opportunities. We've got about 60 kids now that are on scholarship um, throughout the schools in our villages. And that's for secondary school because primary school is free and most kids drop out of school after primary school because they can't afford secondary school. So we're sending these children on to secondary school. Africa Bags are the bags of hope. The, the African Bags try best to solve uh, the problems of the, this village.